Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to a Betrayal at Krondor. I am by the bridge. I just decided to uh, start up here. Uh, we've basically done all the stuff up to the northeast. Um, there's some stuff directly to the east, but uh, we'll circle around for that stuff. Let's uh, let's just go south for a bit. Let's see, we saw those stumps. They had a lot of food. Uh, we got some stuff here. Red Duwide, a stronger man there never was. No, I can't dig up these graves. Julie DeChamp, her smile could warm the coldest day. Paulson Berthold came to the Dimwood looking for peace. Uh, let's see, is there anything in any of those? Uh, not sure. It's... I don't see a separate number for the graves. I do see something for this chest. And it is a Mordell wordlock chest. So I've started, uh, like, writing down the number of things I need to do on these, so that's what I'm going to do once I, uh, cast Union again, because it's so expensive for however much, you know, Patras has. Uh, Rosette. Inside a burning house, this thing is best to make, and best to make it quickly before the fire's too much to take. Um, I got no idea, honestly. What is it? Oh, haste. Alright. All right, what do we got in here? Uh, poisoned rations. I am actually going to hold on to those, because I want to get them out of this chest. I'll leave the Keshi and Tapir here. Uh, let's see, 3 and 12. That's 4. Can we uh, stack that up? Yes, 11. All right, good. Okay, you got a separate stack of two there. Let's just toss that there into a bag. Alright, so... If I go ahead and write this one down... Okay, so that is one, two, three. One, two. And of course, that one it doesn't need to be changed. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alright. So then I don't need to actually cast a spell once I've uh, opened this one. Uh, Keshi and Tabir, is there anything I don't want to leave here? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, I did use up my, um... My whetstone, unfortunately. So I do not have, uh, that to mess with. Which is a shame. Uh, we have a deer here. Three rations. I'll go ahead and take those. Thank you. All right, let's uh, circle around up this way. Okay, we got stuff over that way. Three things, in fact. However, we're showing something on the map. Am I on the right things? I am not. Let's make sure that I am. There we go. Let's 
Oh, we got another deer over here. Those are poisoned rations. We do not want those. No enemies around here, huh? Hmm. Okay, well, we've got uh, some chests. Let me make sure that I'm in a spot where I can get to them all without moving. There we go. All right, Patras. What do we got? More Mordell wordlock chests. Kitch! All across the countryside, to front doors he travels, but you never invite him in. Uh, wind? No. Fire? Crom. I don't know. Uh, let me look this one up. This is there. I would not have gotten that one. 14 rations. We'll go ahead and take that. A scroll of the unseen. Okay. Don't actually know offhand what that does. Okay, so let's uh, make a note of this one. Wait, I didn't move. Why did... Why did that... Oh, studying the spell took time. Alright. Something to keep in mind. Whoops. Wasn't noting the uh, number of uh, cycles I needed. That is one, three, and one. All right. So I don't need to put anything in there. Although I suppose I could put food in there. I've got plenty of it. Here we have pounds all day, beats all night, never rests. Uh, that would be a surf. More food. Yeah, I'll leave the food. More uh, restoratives. Some anti venom. 20 herbal packs. I got 10 on you. Give you five. So you've got twenty, twenty, oh. Hmm. Dang, I got a lot. All right. Let's just make sure that everyone has a full stack. Uh, more Silverthorn. Don't know how much that can stack. I can stack a lot, which is perfectly fine by me. Nope, can't do that. Alright, you know what? Let's 
leave some food behind so that I have more inventory space. I can come back for more if I need it. And same thing with the, uh, the restoratives. I don't need to hold on to that one. I'll, I'll keep two stacks with everyone else, though. Alright, so Surf is... That is one, two, three. One, two, three. And just one. Okay. That is tons of stuff. Uh, next up, all about the house. With this lady he dances, yet he always works and never romances. Um... Oh, yeah. Broom. Got some armor, I got another uh, medium crossbow. Yeah, you've got a Bessie Mauler, and you've got a Bessie Mauler. Whoops. Didn't want to do that. Two torches. I'll leave them. 25 flaming arrow uh, bolts, which I don't really need. I don't think I need to leave anything. I don't feel like I should leave anything, so... Yeah, we'll, uh, we're, we're okay there. Okay. Alright, so, broom. That is one. That is two. That is three, and then not one. And then just one again. Alright. All right. Some decent stuff. Good cache of uh, food and restoratives if we need it. I may... You know, with all these restoratives... I think it may just be a good idea to keep uh, Patris at max all the time. After casting some of these spells. Like, I mean, why not, right? Yeah, there we go. I mean, that's a lot. I don't, I don't need to, uh, I really don't need to, uh, hold on to all that. Uh, okay, let's head down this way then. Make our way to the east. It's getting to be dark. I saw something over there. They were not alone. Locklear's pulse quickened as he saw the lone figure approach, but when it became apparent they were not being attacked, he relaxed a bit, squinted slightly in an attempt to see who was about to join them. Duke Martin! James Locklear, what are you doing here? I kind of thought you were dead, honestly. Prince Aruthus told us that a Sarani magician has given over a rift machine to the Moradel for use in this battle. We've come down here to locate and destroy it before Delicon can get full use of it. How did you get here? We never saw you at the castle. When a portion of the Southern Arrow Company began to fall back from Northwarden, I decided to follow them after... follow after them and make sure that they weren't up to any mischief. As you might have guessed, they had that infernal machine of theirs set up a few miles to the north. They spotted me and assumed that I was a human mercenary that was slacking behind. So you played along and went through the gate and ended up here. How did you know you wouldn't end up in Sarsagoth? I didn't, but I was surrounded by Moradel. I imagined that my best hope for survival lay on the other side of wherever that door led. Whenever we emerged here, I told the captain that I had to rejoin my unit, and I was off. There were a few close moments along the way, but I won free at last. Why didn't you try to destroy it? I thought about it, but the device was surrounded by Moradel at, at the time, so I decided I'd try to gather some help. You three are the first humans I've seen in a week. It's kind of crazy, actually. Uh, Rift Machine. 
Relative to where we are now, where is the Rift Machine? Is it nearby? I'm not sure. To escape the Mordell camp, I slipped away under a stack of canvas bags in the back of a supply wagon they brought with them. After we had traveled for a few hours, they pulled over for a nature break, and I was able to get away. I do recall hearing water as we were moving out, however. As you were near a waterfall or river. At least that gives us an idea of where we can start searching. <laughs> Anything else we should know? From listening to the wagon driver's talk, I get the feeling I wasn't the only unexpected visitor through that machine of theirs. Apparently some rebel Mordell chieftain came through and caused them a good deal of grief, then headed south towards where one of the warlords is staging for the attack on Sethanon. They were none too happy about him being on the loose. I'm hoping I can find him myself so I can ask him a few questions. Any idea who this warlord in the south is? I believe it's Delicon's son Morielf, though I can't be certain of it. They were banding about names so fast, I was having a little trouble understanding all of it. My Moradel isn't all it used to be. Hmm. Alright, uh, what can you tell me about Sethanon, then? What is it with Sethanon and the Moradel? This is the second time they've attacked there, and I never understood why they struck ten years ago. There's nothing in Sethanon but a heap of ruins. At least the last time we had an army to get in their way. Even at a forced march, Prince Arutha's men can't get here for another few days, and they'll be exhausted once they arrive, and... Now that I think of it, why is Delicon bringing an army? If he expected to arrive in, at Sethanon behind our lines, he could simply walk in, take what he what uh, take what he wants, then turn around and walk through that rift gate without a scratch, unless we expect he expected something else to be there. Who does he think will be at Sethanon? What does it mean? It means they didn't get what they came for the last time they raided. It also means Delicon has been watching Sethanon for quite some time, possibly as long as the end of the last battle. He knows Squire Phillips' men will be in the way. Squire Phillips' men? What would a squire be doing leading a, leading a counterattack? Eh, it would take me too long to explain it to you at the moment. Suffice to say, I don't think Delicon and his men will be having a good day once they get to Sethanon. If we're lucky, they will be deterred long enough for Arutha to start nibbling away at their flanks. Hmm. Uh, anything about supplies? Namely, a store that I could go to. One major advantage I can see in our favor is that we and the Mordell are at equal disadvantage. Neither of us have, will have a clear supply of materials, and they will have to hold some of theirs out so they can retreat to the Northlands when the time comes. If they intend on retreating, they didn't seem to be too interested in it the last time they came. Uh, if they intend on retreating, they didn't seem to be too interested in it the last time they came. A bit of advice, though. If you come across any food, I'd suggest holding on to it. We found several of their food caches and poisoned them as we did at Northwarden. And with two armies marching through here at the same time, I imagine food is about to get scarce. As unpleasant an option as it may seem, you may have to resor resort to taking food off of dead Morido. Yeah, I, I already have been doing that. <laughs> already doing that. Alright, well, Duke Martin is here. It's good to know. All right, well, it's dark. Let's go ahead and rest. There's another uh, chest down there. Let's go ahead and use our spyglass. All right, we got two things down here. Two chests. All right. Yep, Mordell. Alright, Patris, do your thing. Cretty, we travel much, yet prisoners are, and close confined to boot. Yet with any horse we will keep pace, and always go on foot. Wagon? No. Carts? Foot doesn't make sense there. Nope. I can get Creed. Cruit? Crui? Chewy? I don't know. 
Uh, let's see. 22. Yeah, I would not have gotten this one. Spurs. Yeah, always on foot. I got it. I get it now, game. Uh, some armor. Uh, I'm going to take it just to repair it. Actually, I'm going to take it and drop it. I don't care about it. Uh, shell and Dolatel milk. I'll leave the sh Well, let me hold on to the shell for the moment. I can easily drop that anywhere. All right, so that is one, two, uh, one, three, and two. It's a rare chest that doesn't have any uh, any of the letters in place at the uh, start. All right, next up, we've got a longer one here. When people come for me, come for me to meet, they come for me with heavy feet. The one I hold, when I get my chance, will turn and spin and start to dance. Gallows? Didn't we have a gallows already? Yep, gallows. It's the turn and spin that kind of got me. Alright, a sword that I cannot uh, do anything with. 18 silver, uh, 14 gold. Let's go ahead and leave that here, that shell. Let's go ahead and put that on the armor. Okay. So I don't have any uh, I, um, whetstones to uh, sharpen that sword, so I'll, I'll just leave it here. So that's one, two, three. That's a two. That's a three. That's a three. And that's a two. All right. Anything else that I want to leave? No, nah, I'm good. All right. This is just kingdom armor. It's worthless at this point. So I'm just going to toss it on the ground. All right. Anything else around here? Oh, big grouping down... There. Wait a second. There should be a third thing around here? Oh, is it picking up the bag now? Must be picking up the bag. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Well, it looks like we got, uh, ambushed. Now that's just rude. Defense, melee. I'll put you on defense and, uh, casting, even though it's not gonna matter. Running. Take you down. Missed you. Ah. Oh, rude. There we go. Take you out. Ow! Well, that's just rude. Come here. You stop that. 
mean, at least you didn't go after Patras. Hey, you got poisoned. Excellent. And right, poison doesn't work on Moradel. Well, you're taken care of. Locklear's accuracy at melee has increased. What do you got? Uh, one ration, I'll take it. Got a frost-bladed weapon as well. Clerical oil cloth. Uh, one ration. Take that. Let's go and just apply that to the uh, the sword there. Did not mean to uh, try and open that one. They have larger hitboxes than you might think. Okay, nothing on his corpse. The bodies, on the other hand, don't really have larger hitboxes than you might expect. Come here. One ration. Alright, so... Where's a good place to stand in order to try and get all of these? I got one, two, three, but I think there's a fourth one. Alright, let's see what you show. Yeah, I'm, like, right on top of one. There we go. That's a little bit too far. That's one, two, three. Oh, game, why are you not letting me uh, get to all of these? All right, well... We will, uh, we'll start with this one. Okay, do some union. Veost. Uh, look at my face. I am somebody. Look at my back. I am nobody. Painting? Coin? No. Money? Nope. Alright, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Actually, we'll come back to that one. See if I can get the other ones first before uh, looking at... looking that one up. The bones of the dead can be used to trap the living. Often? Could be considered bones of a dead tree? No? Bones of the dead. Cage? Um, I mean, I guess a coffin wouldn't be used to trap the living, would it? No, I don't know. Come back to that. I don't want to sit there thinking about them. Totalk. Stay away from these hideous beasts. It's misspelled. They kill our females and childrens. Stay away from... T O no T R O L L Trolls? 
Weird. That is an unusual one compared to what we've encountered. Uh, scroll Gambit of the Eight, we'll take that. Fourteen, uh, restoratives. That's Dollatail Milk, yeah, let's take that. Alright, so, Trolls. So that one is that. One. One. Two. Null. And a three. Okay. Alright, back to these uh, other ones that I was not able to get. And then there's one last one that is apparently s being stood on here. Okay, what do we got? Oh, okay, I see. Mirror. Okay, Blessed Tower, Grey Tower Plate. Would be good if you weren't uh, sitting on all kinds of other good stuff. Anything that I want to leave here? Not really. I will be uh, leaving equipment in these, though. Uh, the Bones of the Dead can be used to trap the living. Snares? Really? I mean, I guess, like... You can use... I don't know, it seems weird. Like the equivalent of cat gut and stuff like that. I know cat gut isn't actually made out of cats. It's made out of uh, other organic things. Uh, I got a lot of Luton's Concentrate. That's probably not necessary. Grab this for the moment. Okay, so that one is Snares. And I didn't do the other one. That is one. Three. No. Two. Two. And a two. Alright. Back to this one. Uh, this one is mirror, so that is one. That's a two. That is a one. That is a two. That is a one. And three. And nothing in there other than uh, some armor. Okay, so... Is it you? When it is stout, people gladly tread. When it is thin, people walk in dread. Bread. No. Uh, that's... Uh, no, I believe that is a bridge. There we go. Uh, medium crossbow. Seven rations. Grab that. Finally have some adventuring. Go ahead and give that to you. Give that to you, and give that to you. All right. So I'll go ahead and uh, pick up the uh, stuff from these bodies, uh, note down this one, and then when we come back next time, we'll continue to explore uh, the area. There's a ton of stuff, ton of stuff in this area, it looks like. So many chests. I don't know exactly why there are so many. There aren't that many enemies around, so, oh well. Uh, but that will all be next time. See you then, everyone.